What's going on to all of my areas out there? Shout outs to y'all. A lot of people have been telling me that they see an orbs in my videos. Let me know if you see an orb. Hold on. Okay, so for you Aries, right? Let's see what it is that y'all got this week. So for you Aries, we have the Tower, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups. You need the Fool. I mean, not you need the Fool, but the Fool <laughs> and the uh, Page of Swords. So, for you Aries, right? The Tower, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. It's all about how... Wow, still... So, the, so, okay. So, you got good news. So, I have good news and I have bad news for you. The good news is that you are starting to date again. You're getting yourselves out there. The bad news is you have people who are trying to run the same kind, uh, same kind of game that you dealt with when you hung around those, those terrible individuals that would try to take your money from you. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, mo and I'm going to show it to you. Don't worry, I'm going to show it to you. It's just that most of this reading is based upon you seeing the same signs that some of those people. So let's get into it. So you have the, the Tower, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. So this is about you finally putting yourselves back out there. Like, okay, fine. But see, immediately you start to see something wrong with, with this person. This person is, is interacting with you and they're already asking you for money. So you're putting yourselves out there. You're trying to get to know people around this time. And these people are already with the old. They have somebody. They're trying to act like they fly. They're trying to act like they too cool for school. You know, just doing all of this, this gobbledygook, right? And already they're asking you, to, to to get certain things. Maybe some of you Aries are courting these people because Aries is a zodiac sign, regardless of what Aries, if you catch my drift, that will pay for the date. That's one of the things that I like about Aries, dude. You know, you will pay for the date, regardless of whatever Aries you are, if you catch my drift. Let's just say I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Because I've I've dated some Aries. So the Seven of Swords is, is that they're over here, they're scrambling, they're all over the place in essence, right? Um, these are people who are not, you real. You detect that these are people who are not really serious about being in a relationship like that. The Five of Pentacles and the Tower, excuse me, the Five of Pentacles and the Hangman are about, so you know what time it is, you know that these people are going to scapegoat you, they're going to try to milk more money out of you the more they can get the better off things will be you know that and as a result you happen to be in a situation where obviously y'all don't y'all are not into that so what's going on for you is y'all happen to be in a situation where you uh you You Aries are like, nah, because you know that they're going to scapegoat you. You know what's coming next. You know that they're going to go ahead and, 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 and um, uh, try to get more money out of you, right? Get you to buy them things. And, if, and when you don't, you know what's going, you know what's coming next. When you stay patient and still continue to date them, when you're, the more you're not paying for stuff, is first and foremost, they're going to come off and be like, oh, you whack this, that, and the third. They're going to talk about you, right, as a joke, quote unquote. And then they're going to start to be like, oh, you know, they're going to start to be like, oh, well, you don't want to hang out or whatnot. Like as if every time the two of you hang out, you got to pay for something. So you have to pay, you have to pay for something to have these people hang out with you. Right. And then you have the two of swords. 
right? So now the Two of Swords represents this being a situation where, so you Aries are guarding yourselves. You Aries are like, nah, because you've seen it before. You've seen, you've seen what games people play. You've seen the delusions. So since you're so caught up on game in the sense that you're, you've, you've, you've caught up, right? Catch up, right? You're able to keep, you're able to keep up now and you know when someone is running that same old game with you. The Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups represent, so this is you and these people that you're getting to know. This is you being like, nah, it's not going to work on you. The Fool and the Page of Swords represents, these are people who are willing to be like, these are people who 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 is like, nah, it's not like that. Basically trying to convince you, you Aries, that you need to stay because they're not really running game on you. That's BS. If this reading is bringing you value, then please make sure to contact me in, to, for a personal reading because it means that it's time for you to contact me for a personal reading if you find value in this reading. Um, the link to my Instagram, the link to my Teespring store, which has clothes on it, the link to my uh, Amazon, uh, my books that are on Amazon, as well as the links to my Instagram page, or all four of those links are in the comment section below. I'm available to do personal readings today, birth chart readings. Come in, get a reading from me. Um, the Page of Swords just represents their their seeming uncombativeness. So it may seem like they're not running game now because now they're trying to false comfort you. Where it's like, I don't, I don't know what it is that you're talking about. Yeah, it's still part of the game. Because think about it, if these people are still in a situation where they have to ask you to, to uh, buy something just to hang out with them, that's the only way that you see them is if you've got to buy something. Then that lets you know these people are not, you know what I mean? That lets you know that these people are not up to par. So, so let's uh, clarify, right? Let's clarify the the fool the hanged man king of swords the wheel of fortune and the knight of swords so the hanged man is you know that you know that what comes next is the scapegoating so you aries got out of that new um I, I can't even call it a relationship. You Aries got out of that as soon as possible. You Aries knew that when they started, when they started basically charging you, excuse me, when they started charging you to be in a relationship with them, to hang out with them, that's when you Aries are like, okay, I got to get out. Because now that, because you Aries know not, that now that you're not spending so much, or you're looking at it and you're like, well, why don't you pay for a date? You know that they really can't because they can't. They really ultimately can't pay for it because they don't have as much money as they're trying to make it seem like they do. They're basically just trying to make it seem like, like I said before, that, you know, they're just, you know, they're so much better than you. But at the same time, they can't really pay for anything. So, you know, the scapegoating is next. Next thing you know, they're going to start to you know, be envious and they're going to act like they mad. They're going to act like your presence makes them mad. Just skip yourselves the drama class and, and you left. So then the King of Swords represents, again, you already know what's happening because you've been here before. You've been through all of that. So now that you've been through all of that, you know what's happening. You know the games that's being run and you know sequentially what they're going to do because they're so predictable. Because people who run games all day, they're not as bright as they make themselves out to be. If you've been around the block a couple of times, you know what they're going to do, when they're going to do, and you know the games that they're playing and how to get out of them, which, can, which is why it is that I say that when people still continue to play games, it ultimately shows that these are low quality people because you can tell them that you know what kind of game they're playing and they, and they still don't understand enough to stop and what that means. That, you, that they probably shouldn't even be talking to you at this point. They still try because they think that 
you know, because they're also addicted to the con of it, you know, trying to prove that they're so smart. But then you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords is they're going to they're going to continue to try to speak to you and convince you that, that, you know, you shouldn't be done and all of this stuff has purpose. But you Aries know what time it is and you don't care and you're not going to listen to them. You're done. It's just that they're going to continue to call you and text you and act like they don't know where this is coming from and blah, 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 blah. The Page of Swords represents to clarify the Page of Swords, uh, you have the Queen of, of uh, Wands, excuse me, the Magician, the Ace of Wands, and the nine of swords, which is, which is, they still have their ego in the sense that, you know, they need to have things done their way. <laughs> you know, they're the magician because they're so magical. That's what they think. They're so magical. They're changing the game. They got other things, you know, you know what I mean? They, you, you don't understand what kind of game they're running. You know, the ace of wands represents all it is that they see you as as you giving them trouble. But the reason why you're giving them trouble in the first place is because you know what kind of games they're playing. They like, But like I said before, they don't really realize how deep the rabbit hole goes because they're caught up in the illusion into thinking that they are in charge. And then you have the Nine of, of uh, Swords. The Nine of Swords is, oh yeah, when you leave, they're going to be crying, some of them. And when you leave, they're going to they're gonna be thinking, did I lose my, my touch? You mean if, if their touch is what, conning people and getting one over on people, then yeah, they're losing their touch. But that's pretty much it. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. As of right now, I have 4,000 subscribers. Would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Comment on the video, please smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment on the video, um, hit the like button, or like I said before, hit the notification bell and set the notification bell to all so you can see videos just like this that you enjoy.